Welcome to the beeswax video. Today I'm going to show you how to turn this and this into this. So this right here represents three seasons of beekeeping. This is all the wax I collected over the last three seasons. Burr comb, cappings, old frames. This is the total of beeswax I have. This is exactly two pounds of rendered beeswax. Now, as you progress in beekeeping, you're gonna come across three different kinds of wax. You got your, your burr comb and your, your scrapings from your inspections. You got your old gross frames and, and wax moth frames, and you have your wax cappings from extracting. Now, the old frame comb is the grossest and dirtiest kind of wax. That's the hardest to kind of get clean. The cappings are the easiest to get clean. And this is what I did for the first two seasons. This is all I got from my hives. I was just scraping burr comb off of frames and collecting every day I get a little ball of wax. And this is actually all the wax I got from this whole season. I have quite a few frames from the last four seasons, especially this past season, I had a wax moth problem. So today I'm gonna to scrape these down and render these frames. And I also have a five gallon bucket of wax cappings from my extraction. So after rendering down each type of wax, you're gonna get very different yield for the final product. So I'm gonna demonstrate that for you now. I'm gonna melt each one of these individually and show you what you get. So the first thing we're gonna do is get all this old junky wax off of these frames over here, and then we're gonna start rendering. This is all of my scraped frames from 2019. All right, let's get down to rendering. You're gonna need an old pot. Don't use a good pot from your kitchen because you're never gonna get it clean afterwards. So just, I found this pot on the side of the road. It's just a good like 16 quart pot, about a third full of water. You're gonna need a thermometer for that water because you're gonna heat it up. Wax melts at about 140. You wanna go just over that, but you don't wanna boil your, your wax because it will discolor. So I'm gonna get the water up to about 160 to 180 and then turn the heat off. So get yourself a good thermometer, link in the description. You're gonna need your wax and this right here is the pro tip of the whole video right here. Paint strainers. I got this 25 pack of paint strainers for $25 and this is gonna save you a lot of hassle rendering your wax. So it's just a fine mesh, it's like a nylon, so it doesn't melt in the water. You put your wax in here, you drop it in, and you strain all the junk out in one swoop. This right here is gonna save you multiple, multiple skimmings and getting all the crap out of your wax. Get these, link down below, and this will save you so much time. All right, we're about 165 right now, so I'm gonna shut the heat off. So we're gonna start with the burr comb. This is all the stuff that I scraped off frames and lids and found in the bee yard all this season. Just like that, drop it in. Now we let the pot sit for a couple hours and cool down and all the wax is gonna float up to the top and it should make a nice disc. All right, it's been a couple hours and things are definitely solidified in here. Water's still pretty hot, but I'm gonna take this out. So it's about a quarter inch thick. All right, so this water can get tossed and we're gonna do another round. So the bag that I dipped in has cooled off. This is what comes out. It's like propolis and, and you know, cocoons from uh, brood comb and all kinds of dirt and debris and stuff. So 
There's a tiny bit of wax in there, but it's it's not worth doing another melt for all that. So that's gonna get chucked as well. This is the result of the first melt of 2019. So there's a little dirt down there. It's about a quarter inch thick. So let's do another round with another batch of, of wax. All right, so I have the bag filled up with the, uh, the wax that I scraped off of the, the frames. So I'm just gonna dip it in the water and hopefully it'll all melt through the bag. This is the rest of my scraped frames. I just reheated everything up because I can see the layer of wax settling on top of the junk. So now I'm gonna let this cool and we should have a nice disc of wax on top of junk, which we can scrape off and then remelt. All right, this has been sitting overnight. The water is completely cooled. And as you can see, the entire pile of scrapings from 15 or 20 frames yielded this. A very thin sheet of wax with a lot of junk on it. So this is just almost see-through. You can see right through it. So this was uh, probably almost 20 frames scraped off. And this is what I got. This plus this. Which, I mean, I could render this more and get maybe a handful, like a tiny little bit more wax out of here. So this is mostly brood cocoons. There's some propolis in here probably. Just dirt and debris, dead bodies, but basically garbage that's not really usable. That's just to show you what you get after all that work. You know, there's not even a candle's worth of wax in there. All right, now it's time for the good stuff. This is the wax cappings. This is the cream of the crop, the, the cleanest stuff. There is definitely some debris in here, but I'm gonna skim that out with a clean strainer and it's gonna go right in the hot water and this should yield a nice thick cake of wax. Maybe I'll do this in two rounds. All right, let's put it in. Okay, the water is heated up. It's just simmering. It's not boiling, but it just started to simmer, and that big ball of wax has melted. So I turned the heat way down to low, and I'm gonna pull the bag out now. Try and get it in one swoop here. And get all the garbage in the bag. Still wax dripping out there. A lot of garbage still in the bag. All right, heat's off. Now that just has to cool and settle. And this is what we were left with. A little bit of wax still dripping out here. But yeah, this is the garbage that was in the, in the, uh, the cappings. So pretty good yield out of that. It was like a five gallon bucket and this is all that's left. Now that just has to cool. All right, it's been a few hours and things seems to have solidified here. I'm gonna pop this out. Woo! 
That's a big block of wax. Oop, you know what? I don't think it's done yet. Oops. It's not cured yet. I messed up. All right, well, <laughs> I've never dealt with this much wax before, so it's not cooled off yet. I thought it was cool, but it's not. Okay, gotta let that cool some more. All right, I, uh, I tried taking this out too soon. <laughs> And it was uh, a little bit misshapen on the bottom underneath, but it, it finally gelled and got a nice chunk of wax here. And this is the cake. You know, we got a good inch thick chunk of wax here. All right, so to summarize, this is the result of all the cappings, all the cappings that I saved as I was uh, harvesting cutting off the cappings off the frames, putting them aside. This is about five gallon tub of, of cappings melted and uh, rendered out. This is the waste from the cappings. So not a lot of waste, but you know, still some dirt and debris in here. And uh, that's, that's not usable there. So, um, but the strainer pulled that right out. So that was a nice little system here. This is the result of my scraping of burr comb uh, from the whole season, this is all the wax I got. So it's about a quarter of an inch thick, pretty good disc. This is, you know, worthy of about a candle or so. Um, I'm going to render this down again, let the debris settle out on the bottom, maybe pour it through a strainer, and this will yellow up and, and clean up nicely. So this is good wax. This is the waste from that wax. So, you know, being careful and, and scraping your frames every day and saving your wax, coming home with a ball of wax after every inspection will net you, you know, something like this at the end of the year. And that's kind of what my wax looked like the first year or two, just a thin disc of wax that I saved and saved. And then last year I put three years worth of wax together to get this. So this is three years of savings. And this has also been melted, filtered, melted, filtered two or three times over three years. So that's the total from the previous three seasons. And the big lesson today was after scraping all those frames, I mean, I saved all those frames, I put them aside, I spent, you know, 15, 20 minutes scraping them off, had a huge pile of, of scrapings, uh, wax, debris, put it all into the paint strainer, and that was the waste. It was, you know, 99% waste. That is all garbage in there. And then a very thin slice of wax. You can, you can see right through this. So, and it's very dirty. This would have to be rendered a couple more times to get this to look, to look yellow. But this is almost not worth the trouble. Um, it is wax, so I don't wanna just throw it away, but it's a lot of work and a lot of waste and a lot of energy for a tiny little bit of wax. So, that is the lesson for me, probably the lesson for you. That's, that's what that looks like. So I'm probably gonna melt this down one more time, put this through the strainer, and let this uh, solidify in the pot. With, with let the water completely cool so I don't have this sort of disaster again. But that's the thing about beeswax, is you can keep melting it and then re-solidifying re it, straining it, and it just keeps getting cleaner and cleaner. So this will be melted down and form a nice disc. I'll probably melt this a couple more times as well, put this through the strainer and add this to this wax, maybe even add it all to this wax. So we'll have a nice big block at the end that will, the cumulative amount of wax from, from four years of beekeeping. And this stuff here, I will keep separate. I'm not gonna mix that in because this is, that's gonna take forever to get clean. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but. That's that. So the goal is to have a nice big block of wax and then a future video I may learn how to make a candle or some chapstick or beard balm as someone suggested. I'm not exactly sure. I've never done anything with my wax. So that'll be another video. But for this, I hope you learned something. If you did, give me a little thumbs up, comment down below, and please tell me how you render your wax and how you would do this differently because I always love reading comments. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.